wouldn't say it's an addiction. Addiction sounds strong, but I do have a pretty, pretty intense sweet tooth. My name is Madison Strathman. I'm a student in the Doctor of Chiropractic program at Cleveland University, Kansas City. I grew up in a pretty strong family of chiropractors. My, my grandfather was the first of our family to be a chiropractor. And then later on, my uncle and my dad as well followed in his footsteps. I feel like the proper alignment of everything is very underrated. People oftentimes don't even know that things could be out of place, but the ability of the body to operate at such a higher capacity when everything is properly aligned is noticeable in athletics. So I actually started at a pretty young age doing just very generic swim lessons, just water safety, you know, learning how to swim, all that good stuff. I absolutely hated it. I wanted nothing to do with it, but I actually just joined the local summer league swim team when I was 11. Uh, one of my friends said, no, come on, come on. The swim meets are like a five hour party and you just sit and eat food and hang out with your friends and then you just swim for like two minutes, the whole five hours. And I was like, I can get down with that, that sounds kind of fun. The success I had from that made me want to continue to have more success. So after I did that first summer, that's when I joined the club team. Going into freshman year of high school, I kind of had to make the decision, because at that point I was still doing track, I was still doing basketball, and I was still doing swimming. So I ended up picking swimming, just because I saw that having more opportunity to go farther. And that first year of high school swimming was really incredible. Olympic trials was never there. I, I never thought that I was good enough to do that. Uh, I actually went to a sectional meet the summer before I left for college. There's all these Mizzou girls, there's KU girls at the meet, there's Nebraska girls, all these college swimmers, and I'm still in my mind just a senior in high school. I haven't started college yet. And lo and behold, I drop a ton of time and pull off an Olympic trials time out of nowhere. <laughs> September of my senior year at Arkansas. I uh, went to sectionals and won all the breaststroke events at sectionals and just was having the best success I'd ever had in swimming. Just one day at a routine practice, we were um, doing some dives, dove in, started swimming breaststroke, got to the middle of the pool, went to do a turn without that wall there. When I went to throw that arm back to do that turn, everything just kind of slipped past each other. And that shoulder dislocated and was stuck out at 90 degrees. Went to the doctor to get an MRI. Lo and behold, when that humerus came out, it, it actually tore the labrum. And we decide, let's just take this year and let's just rehab it. So we rehabbed it that whole season. And uh, come summer, was able to compete in some meets. I swam awful, it hurt. So we go back to the doctor and we tell him and he's like, well, in order for you to be able to swim at the level that you need to and at the level that you want to, you're gonna have to get it fixed. And when he said that, that was really hard to swallow. Went in for surgery in August, came out of surgery, woke up and he's like, I had to do quite a bit more. So then we had to cross the bridge of swimming is all of a sudden done. My identity for so long was I'm Madison the swimmer. And who am I now as Madison the non-swimmer. So all through college, my plan was dental school. I went on my interview for um, UMKC Dental School. Something just inside of me didn't feel right. I wanted to find something where I could have more interactions with people. It's kind of always kept coming back to that little voice in my head of, you know chiropractic meets all these. Seeing the people here, talking to the people here, compared to students and staff at the dental school, I felt like I'm in the right place. So now, after being accepted to Cleveland, the shoulder is totally fine. When COVID hit, they delayed Olympic trials a year. And actually three months post tearing my shoulder, I got up on that block and qualified for trials for the second time for 2020. That little flicker came back on of, we have time now. I didn't really like the way things ended with swimming. And for such a big chapter of my life, I didn't like how the pen just stopped writing all of a sudden. This door that's open for the prolonged trials and pushing things a year back and being able to come back from shoulder surgery has really set up 
the opportunity for me to end this chapter on my life. You know, I can finally end it on my own terms. I think especially since the injury and experiencing the injury, chiropractic has become even more important. I think having gone through the injury and having gone through pain and recovery will help me relate a lot better to, to patients who are experiencing pain and, and experiencing discomfort and experiencing rehab. By trying different professions and trying different career paths, that helped me to realize that my thinking that chiropractic was the easy path just because that's what my family did and just kind of following in the footsteps and I'm not just going with the grain. I'm not just another person doing chiropractic. There's something very special about it and it's quite a challenge to do it.